All right, here we are. Uh, um, I don't know why I gave these guys disturbing faces, but I did. Okay, so uh, the concept here is that we are going to um, pick a spot to torque about. So we are going to torque about this point. Okay, what that means is we're going to figure out for these forces uh, how far they are from that point and whether they twist the beam clockwise or anti-clockwise. Okay, and our convention is that something that spins the beam this way, that is a downward force to the left of that would spin it, would make that beam go down and therefore clockwise. Um, we make those positive, so that's our clock, that's clockwise. And then ones like this, like this cable lifts us up, the beam would go that way, right? We'll call ones that spin it the other way anti-clockwise. We'll call them negative, sorry. <laughs> okay, this is our convention, okay? So I'd like to draw all the forces. So we've got the force of gravity of this guy, right? So let's see, a 62 kilogram, okay. Big 85 kilogram worker, 3.8 from the left side, okay. So this distance here, 3.8 meters. And they're, the force that they're exerting is 85 times G, right? And the Gs that I'm using here are 9.81 type Gs, not grams, but I'm just saying this is shorthand. Because otherwise it's the, our, our things get unsightly, right? So 85 Gs at, um, at 3.8 meters, okay? And this will be clockwise, okay? And then we've got the, the, the beam itself, right? So the beam is going to be 62 Gs. 62 times 9.81, right? Okay, and then that's at the center of the beam. It's nine meters long, so the center will be 4.5 meters from the left side, okay? Then we've got the weight of this guy here, okay? So this guy has a mass of 64 kilograms, right? So it's gonna be 64 times G, right? And then that's gonna be at, uh, how far are they? Oh, they are, this is the game, right? They're 2.5 meters from the right, okay? Well, we want to know how far they are from the left side, right? We need to know this distance here, okay? So if this distance is 2.5, this one has to be um, 6.5, right? Okay, that has to be 6.5. That devilry, by the way, is uh, 9 minus um, 2.5 is 6.5, right? Okay, so this is at 6.5 from the left side, okay? This is going to be clockwise, therefore positive. This will be clockwise and positive. That'll be clockwise, right? And then, of course, this guy, this force is going to be at 9 meters, right? And this will be anti-clockwise. This, this force will tend to make the beam go anti-clockwise. So now we, can, now we can set up our, um, our torque expression. Let's change to red. Okay, so I'm going to torque about the left side, okay? So torquing about the left side, I've got some unknown force times zero, right? Okay, then I've got the first one is this guy, right? So I'm gonna say plus 3.8. Remember, torques are RF, right? Radius times force. So plus 3.8, we're 3.8 over, right? Okay times 85 times 9.81. Those Gs are all 9.81s, right? The next one is uh, plus 4.5, because this guy is going to be a clockwise torque, right? Uh, 4.5 times 62G. And then, then there's this guy here, right? So that's going to be positive, positive 6.5 times 64G, right? And then finally, finally, we've got an anti-clockwise torque. So minus... Uh, uh, that's nine, right? It's all the way out here, nine meters from the left side, right? Nine times F, and that equals zero. So let's just double check our equation here. We got clockwise, this, the weight of this will make the beam go that way, which is uh, clockwise, right? Okay, 85 times 9.81 times 3.8, right? And then the beam itself, which is 62 times 9.81, and then at the center, the 4.5 meter puts it at the center of nine, okay? Then we have 6.5 times 64 times 9.81, right? And then we go minus, uh, and then this guy is going anti-clockwise, right? Okay, minus nine times, 
f. So now, now we can solve this. This is one variable we can solve for that f, so let's do it. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go uh, 3.8 times 85 times 9.81. So remember, these, these, these guys are 9.81, right? That's another 9.81. It's just your expression. It looks so much nicer if you just make it like that. Okay, so then I'm going to go plus 4.5 times 62 times 9.81. I'm going to go plus 6.5 times 64 times 9.81. Don't forget your 9.81s, right? All right. And then that gives me an answer. And then I'm going to divide that answer by 9 to get the force. 1109. So my force is 1109.62 uh, newtons, which I guess we'd have to say 1110 newtons with three big sig figs. And it's up. Of course, it's got to be up, right? Uh, that force has to be up. But there will be problems later on where you'll have to definitely say, you know, up or down or something like that. Okay? And, and you won't know. You look at the problem and you won't necessarily know whether it's up or down. But the math will show you. Okay? So, again, your steps are pick a spot to torque about, right? Find where all the things are. This one's 3.8. The beam is 4.5 meters because it's at the center. This guy, we have to do a little subtraction. Right, this guy is at nine meters, right? Find where they all are, what they all are. So, so the weights are just the mass times 9.81, mass times 9.81, mass times 9.81. And then just set up your torque expression. They're all R times F. Positive is, is uh, clockwise. That's clockwise. That's clockwise. And then this is anti-clockwise. Okay? Um, happy hunting. I hope that helps.